There I was riding my brand new horse that is 100% real when all of a sudden I saw something. So I dismantled from my horse and I pulled out my super high tech binoculars. And using my good bird's eye view, I literally saw Rex the punching bag on the other side of the pond. So I was super shocked and I was so excited that I kicked my horse in the face because I didn't need him anymore. And then I started running all the way over towards Rex so I could say hi. Yo, what is up, Torque fam? And welcome back to a brand new video. Now my dudes, I just found Rex, like the punching bag, literally right here beside the pond. And unfortunately, if you guys don't remember, a few YouTube videos ago, I tried to save Rex from the pond, but as I was pulling him up, he fell back in the water and I fell in the water with him. But yes, now Rex is finally safe. He's on dry land. Rex, I gotta give you a hug. So I picked Rex up off the ground and gave him a hug. Wow, guys, look how clean Rex is. He stayed super beautiful and luxurious in the pond. But guys, Rex is finally safe! So go down below right now and smash that thumbs up button if you guys are excited for Rex to be back! Alright, Rex, are you excited to finally be back on land? Nope. Say what? Guys, Rex is excited to be back with us! No. This makes me so mad! I'm just gonna have to absolutely demolish you, Rex! Feel my wrath! So it's me, TORG, aka that one random ginger versus Rex, this punching bag right here. Who will win? Well, I guess we're about to find out, so let's do this. Let's do this. So Torg ran directly at Rex and he drop kicked him in the face and he started kicking him while he was down and passed out. Then he ran out of bounds and he started doing an epic stare down. And he turned his hat sideways and he got prepared to run directly at Rex and then he John Cena did. But as the fight was happening, Torg saw something. Wait a minute. No way, my dudes. I can't believe this. Look, Sonic's right there on the other side of the pond. Oh. No way, guys! What's he doing over there? No way! I accidentally threw Rex back in the pond water whenever I saw Sonic. Rest in peace, Rex. I'm sorry, buddy. You know what, guys? I can't leave Rex behind. I'm going out in the pond water to save him. It's so cold, guys! So I slowly ascended into the depths of the ocean when all of a sudden I got a text message. Wait a minute! No, wait! I just got a text message! Maybe it's that girl that I gave my phone number a year ago! Let's see, guys! No way! It's literally from Sonic! Like, literally Sonic the Hedgehog, the person right there! And guys, I kind of forgot that Sonic was there because I was so focused on Red! Alright, let's read the text and see what Sonic has to say to us! Alright, Sonic said, Take me to SpongeBob SquarePants! He's in your backyard! And I want to fight him! Oh my goodness! Guys, apparently Sonic wants us to take him and like take him over to SpongeBob SquarePants. Which I have absolutely no idea where SpongeBob SquarePants is at. Like I haven't seen him for a long time. But guys, Sonic the Hedgehog literally turned into a plush animal in my last video. Like he was real and then all of a sudden he turned into a plush. And he was literally inside of my house and somehow he escaped and now he's over there. Guys, we gotta go get him right now and apparently we need to find SpongeBob. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I started running at the speed of light all the way over to Sonic. I even did this epic parkour. Sonic, buddy, you want to fight SpongeBob? Why do you want to fight him? He's not saying anything. No! It looks like he's literally back to a plush animal again. Well, guys, apparently, Sonic wants to fight SpongeBob SquarePants and he wants us to take him to him right now. So I guess our mission right now, my dudes, if we choose to accept, is to keep a very good bird's eye view out for SpongeBob SquarePants because he could be anywhere back here in our backyard. And guys, like I said, I don't know where SpongeBob SquarePants is at. Like last time I saw him, he was legitimately inside of our pond. So let's go ahead and just start searching around for him. I'm gonna look inside of the pond. On water. So I started looking around, but then I accidentally fell in the water. Oh, no way! I just fell in the pond! And so did Sonic! I'm sorry, buddy! Oh, guys, now that I'm already wet, let's go save Rex! So I ran all the way back over to where Rex was at, then I yeeted Sonic under the ground, and I jumped in the water for him. And using my super manly masculine muscles, I pulled Rex out of the pond water. Yes, Rex is saved again! First try! First try. But all right, guys, now that Rex is saved, let's get back to looking around for SpongeBob. So I was observing my surroundings when all of a sudden I saw something. Wait a minute! No way, guys, SpongeBob's right there! 
What the heck is SpongeBob doing, guys? I think he's just like trying to get my attention or something. What? No way! He's gone! Like 3.45 seconds ago, SpongeBob was just right there. And he was wearing a ginormous cowboy hat. He must have been trying to intimidate my cowboy hat. Oh, snap. But no way, where did he go? SpongeBob, hello? I wonder if he went back into the woods. So he started walking towards the water. Sonic, go find SpongeBob. So he threw Sonic into the water. What? What the heck? Sonic isn't moving. Sonic, do something. Nope. No. No. Apparently, Sonic isn't going to go find SpongeBob. We're just going to have to come back out here later because I'm in super wet clothes right now. We'll come out more prepared with super extremely expensive technology so we can find SpongeBob. Oh so I'm going to save Sonic before he goes down the river and then I'm going to go inside and take me a five hour long bath. I ran into the river and I picked up Sonic and then I fell over. Oh, that's so cold. Peace out till later, my dude. Ah. The next day. There I was waking up for my 24 hour long nap. And as soon as I opened up my eyes, I grabbed a super healthy snack. Then I grabbed this bag which contained the thing that I was going to use to try to find SpongeBob. And I started heading towards the back door and I went directly outside. And as I was observing my surroundings, all of a sudden I saw something. My dudes, I can't believe this. SpongeBob's literally on the other side of the pond right now. Let me look through my super high tech binoculars to get a better bird's eye view so we can see what he's doing. What the heck, guys? Look, SpongeBob has his neck raised up. What? And it looks like there's some sort of sign beside him. And the sign says, come at me, bro. Wait a minute. Guys, SpongeBob must be trying to tell Sonic to come at him like he's literally ready to fight him. We need to head out there right now so that Sonic can fight SpongeBob. I don't even think we need this super beautiful, luxurious $1 million piece of technology that I was going to use to find SpongeBob. Oh, without wasting any more time, my dudes. Let's take Sonic over to SpongeBob. So I took Sonic and I threw him off of the deck and he slammed into the ground. Then I ran off of the porch as fast as I could and I picked Sonic back up. And I ran out towards SpongeBob. Wait a minute. No way, guys. Look, SpongeBob's gone. Guys, this makes me so mad. SpongeBob literally said, come at me, bro. And then he just left. You know what? It's time to pull out my $1 million item that'll help us find SpongeBob. So I threw Sonic and started opening up the super epic package. It's literally a drone. We're gonna fly this bad boy up into the sky and search around for SpongeBob. So using my flight simulator skills, I threw the drone directly up into the sky like a professional. A few moments later. All right, guys, we are now super high up in the sky. We are overlooking the pond. And right over there by the burn pile is where SpongeBob SquarePants was just at. Let's go look around there and see if we can find him. All right, so he was just right over here. So I flew the drone around the burn pile. All right, I'm flying over to the field right now so we can look into it. Wait a minute. No way. Look, SpongeBob SquarePants is literally walking through the field right now. And he's walking super slow. Guys, I gotta take Sonic and take him over there and throw him at SpongeBob like he wanted us to. I'm gonna head over there right now. Here, rain himself. Let me see the camera. Guys, let's go get Sonic over there to SpongeBob. SpongeBob's still out there. It looks like he's just standing there now. He's literally waiting on us. So once I made it by the field, I had to cross this ditch and hurry up and get into the field myself. SpongeBob, take this. Then I took Sonic and I yeeted him into the field. Oh, I gotta get out of here. I don't want to get caught in the crossfire. <laughs> no way! Sonic literally turned into real Sonic! And wait a minute, SpongeBob just turned around and look, he's backing up! It looks like he's trying to sneak up on Sonic! What the heck is this tactic, guys? I have no idea what SpongeBob is doing right now! Wait a minute, he just slapped Sonic! SpongeBob looks super shocked and Sonic is just standing there! Wait, oh my god, there's somebody like fighting! Sir, it's flying up everywhere! I can't even see what's happening! Oh my goodness! Sonic the Hedgehog just launched SpongeBob into outer space! Oh, SpongeBob's literally gone, I don't even see him anywhere in Sonic! Sonic's just standing there now. And wait a minute, there he goes. He's rolling away. And I don't even see him anymore. Like, he's way too fast. He's legitimately gone. Dang it. Dang it. Guys, I don't know. We gotta go grab the drone really quick and fly it back before it crashes into a tree. I'm bringing the drone back right now. So I flew the drone back and using my professional skill, I landed it. Oh, no. 
Sonic the Hedgehog and SpongeBob literally just fought in real life. And as you saw, Sonic legitimately won. Well, and SpongeBob got absolutely demolished. Just like you guys should go down below right now and absolutely demolish that subscribe button and ding the notification bell as well. Because this video was super crazy. And we're also trying to hit 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. So just do it. So yeah, guys, we'll see you all next time on a brand new epic video with TORG, a.k.a. That one random ginger. Peace out.